Okay, here I am. I'm starting to form the 270 brass and I take three short strokes and then work my way all the way down and uh, this is a 6547 brass which is my preferred brass and you're left with the, with a case that looks like that I've used um, my custom die that I got from uh, Harrison at AR15 Performance it's a uh, 6.5 by 47 um, Lapua Redding bushing die and he shortens shortens at 125 thousandths point one two five and uh, then he opens up the hole in here to uh, 302 you can go to 302 304 but uh, this uh, this die works the best for me for foreman I lube the cases with uh, my homemade case lube and this is what I get after I after I've sized them and as you can see you can see right here on the brass there's a step and that's where you're into the shoulder the old neck shoulder union and have pushed past that the brass gets thicker there so on the Lapua brass now that we're left at this the 302 hole in the die ends up leaving this perfect it's still 6.5 through here and okay here we are I've already formed them and uh, now I'm going to neck ream and I'm using a 6.5 pilot and it's called a neck turning reaming pilot by RCBS so it can uh, it will ream the neck and it's also pilot and then I trimmed the length. You can also cut more of this neck off if you want, but we got to trim it to 1645 is uh, what we trim to. Um, I leave it just a little bit longer than that to start out with here because I haven't I haven't necked it up to uh, 6.8 millimeter yet. But uh, we go in and it takes off any excess that's inside the neck here, which is always a ring right at the neck neck shoulder union and. Uh, then I trim them. I'm using a drill attachment. Now I've got it trimmed to length and as you can see there's still a little bit of the old neck there and then the brass gets... You can see there's a, a, a seam right here. This is where the old where the shoulder used to be, and this is what's left of the neck. Differences in thickness is why you need to neck turn, uh, neck turn, and neck ream. It's a work. These are Lapua cases, but compared to the Creedmoor cases, they uh, I've had ten fires on these, and uh, I don't have much of a, and I still got the, I, have, I haven't lost any. Okay, need a quick chamfer and burr. And then I use my Sinclair expander die. And I use an E27 expanding mandrel E27 and run it through the die then I chamfer and burr it And now it's ready for the neck turning.
in the neck turning mandrel in the neck turner i've also got a seven uh the seven millimeter two i mean the 270 mandrel in there and it's also a neck turning pilot reamer so if there's any if it needs any more on the inside of the neck after being expanded it's uh it's in there Now the neck turn, I'm using the Forrester neck turner, and I set it so it will just nick the brass. at the case mouth. It just touches there, and you take it starts taking some off. You can see it leaves a little bit of a ring where your neck shoulder union was. And I go slow. And then it's done. Camera doesn't show it very well, but you can see just a, there's just a slight indentation right there that it doesn't it doesn't pick up. You can take that out. I do on some. These here, I've decided to leave it in there until after fire forming to see what you have. But that gives you a consistent neck wall thickness of around 12 and a half to 13 thousandths on mine for the Lapua brass. That way your loaded rounds uh, seat easy. And uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of work involved, but it's not that bad. And uh, if you have, you can do this with any setup. This is just what happens to be what I have. Um, I'm thinking about getting the Century 21 lathe. It's a, it's a lot nicer lathe, but... Uh, this is what I have and this is what I had to work with. Now this whole procedure will work also with my new round coming out, which is the, uh, I'm going to um, start doing some testing on, which is a, 250, a 25 cal base on the same case. And uh, where we'll just start sticking more bushings inside the bushing die. I do it in four steps to neck it down to uh, 25 caliber. And then you end up with 25 like so compared to the 270 there you go I hope it helps shows people the procedure I go through to turn it um, and produce the 270 brass it's not that hard it takes up some time but in the end these Lapua cases are lasting you know I've got some of mine uh, with 10 fires on it and they're uh, and they're still just fine. Here I've got 200 that are ready to ready to convert, and uh, all they have to do is do the uh, the trimming and neck reaming, and they're good to go. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.